Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. Why do I say that C++ is not a good first programming language to learn? In fact, anybody who tells you that you should learn C++ first, they don't understand education. They don't understand how to teach properly. That's clear and very simple. Now, I'm not criticizing C++ of the language in terms of what it does. I'm criticizing the notion the idea, the advice that somehow learning C++ as your first programming language is a good idea. It's not a good idea because C++ is not easy to learn. That's the key to it all. Suggesting that somebody new to software development learn C++ as their first programming language would be like telling somebody who wants to learn how to box, how to fight, but they should step in the ring with Mike Tyson first time around, or we'll scale it back a little bit. They should step in the ring with professional fighters uh, with eight ounce gloves first time around. This is stupid. It's ridiculous. You're going to get killed and it's, you're never going to really develop yourself as a fighter because you're going to get your face rearranged and you won't want to step in the ring again. I've seen this happen a lot of times with C++. People try C++, they hit the wall pretty quick because C++ is not easy. And next thing you know, they give up on programming thinking to themselves, ah, I can never learn to program, it's terrible, I'm terrible, I'm not, I'm not smart enough. No, you just don't start with C++. You start with an easier language, something that's much more approachable. Which one is best? It's either Python or JavaScript. Now, there's several other languages that are also approachable, like Ruby, etc. Uh, Ruby, Perl, uh, PHP. Um, but I would say the best choice is either Python or JavaScript because they're very easy to get up and running with. There's not a lot of configurations you have to do. Whereas with other languages, uh, there's a lot of configs you have to do. Like to get up and running with C Sharp, you got to install .NET and all kinds of crap. But to get out, to get up and running with Java, you got to install Java, blah blah, and so on and so forth. So that's another hurdle. You don't want to jump into a technology stack or a programming language that requires a whole bunch of stuff you have to get done before you can even start writing the code. That's no good. So yeah, so C++, good language, it has its use, it will have its uses for many years to come, but if you're looking to learn how to be a software developer, even if your ultimate goal is to be a C++ coder, for whatever reasons, you're attracted to it, start with something easier like a Python or JavaScript. Now, why would you wanna start with something easier? Because what you're gonna find, as you learn more and more about programming and development, coding and so forth, you're going to learn that all these languages, all the modern languages, they all share, they have so much in common. So it's kind of like learning how to drive. Whether you learn to drive a Porsche or an Audi or a Toyota, it doesn't really matter because once you learn how to drive a car, those skills and the knowledge and the understanding of how to, how to drive and navigate the road and so on is very, very similar. It's pretty much the same. Buttons will be a little bit different. So you got different performance characteristics, etc., which you have to learn, but it's not a big deal. So if you learn, for example, as your first language, JavaScript, right? You just pop open the web browser and you're ready to go to learn JavaScript. It's got all the tools built in. You don't have to install anything. It's all right there for you. You learn JavaScript and, uh, you know, you spend maybe 60, 70 hours on it just to get your head wrapped around the basic JavaScript principles. At the same time, you're learning the basic programming principles. There's so many things in JavaScript, and I won't get into details because I'm assuming you're watching this, you're not a programmer. But there's so many things about JavaScript that are pretty much the same in C++ or C. Very similar. I would say perhaps they share 80%, 80% the same. So when you learn JavaScript, much more approachable, and then you decide you're going to jump into C or C++, it's gonna be so much easier for you. You will learn C and C++ in a fraction of the time that it took you to learn JavaScript. Simply because, again, a lot of the concepts that you're gonna learn in JavaScript, a lot of the techniques you learn in JavaScript are 100% transferable to C++. So, if you wanna to learn to code, C++ is a very bad first choice because you're gonna be hitting a wall of hard and it would just, it would be too much. It would be too much. Start with something simple 
My personal top two choices are either JavaScript or Python. Again, I'm not saying that those are better languages. I'm just saying they're better to learn with.